Effects of Intermittent Fasting on Body Weight loss has long been associated with calorie consumption. Fasting and calorie restrictions are two possible ways by which weight loss can be achieved. Fasting refers to not consuming food for 12 or more hours, while calorie restriction means downsizing food intake by 20 to 40 percent while keeping the frequency of the meals unchanged. Liver is the storehouse of glucose, which is stored in the form of glycogen. Physical activity, along with fasting of 12 to 24 hours, lead to a 20 percent or greater reduction in blood glucose and emptying of the glycogen from the liver. This triggers a metabolic mode where ketone bodies and free fatty acids, which are derived from fat, are used as energy sources. The tissues rely on fatty acids for energy during prolonged periods of fasting, whereas the brain utilizes the ketone bodies along with glucose for energy consumption. Fasting is the gradual shift of burning glucose to burning fat. Fasting leads to the production of ketone bodies and triggers changes in cellular processes such as stress resistance, lipolysis, and autophagy. So what is lipolysis? Lipolysis is the process by which fats are broken down in our bodies through enzymes and water, or hydrolysis. Triglycerides are broken into glycerol and free fatty acids. The fatty acids are consumed directly by the body. The glycerol goes to the liver and is converted to glucose by the process known as gluconeogenesis. Thus, the fat is able to supply glucose to the brain, red blood cells, and kidney, and the muscle proteins are still intact and not broken down. Fasting does not starve the muscle of fuel. Hence, in fasting, once the glucose is depleted, we will burn fat. What is autophagy? Autophagy, in simple words, is self-eating. It is a process of self-detox whereby the body eradicates the damaged cells and starts producing new ones. It is initiated when the liver glucose is exhausted. This occurs following 12 to 16 hours post-fasting. Autophagy is beneficial as it reduces inflammation and enhances the daily bodily functions. It also delays or prevents the development of neurodegenerative diseases and plays a vital role in promoting longevity. Research studies have documented that in certain cases, fasting has similar beneficial effects as those of medicines in reducing seizure episodes and seizure-associated brain damage and also reducing the severity of rheumatoid arthritis. How shall fasting help? The worldwide trend followed is to consume food at least three times daily. Ingestion of excess calories resulting from such eating patterns leads to the development of metabolic conditions such as obesity, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes mellitus type 2, which leads to cardiovascular diseases, especially when combined with a sedentary lifestyle. The internal mechanism of the animals and human beings has been designed such that they can easily adapt to scarcity of food, as in case of fasting, and still perform optimally at physical and cognitive levels. Intermittent fasting comprises of eating patterns wherein we go without food or for a prolonged period such as 16 to 48 hours. What are advantages of intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting has many potent benefits on the health. Intermittent fasting can counteract disease processes for a wide range of disorders, including diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, and neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and stroke. Studies of intermittent fasting, that is, 60% energy restriction on two days per week or every other day. Periodic fasting, that is, a five-day diet providing 750 to 1100 kcal and time-restricted feeding, restricting the daily period of food consumption to eight hours or less, have shown potential for weight loss and improvements in multiple health indicators such as insulin resistance and reductions in risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Scientific studies have shown that intermittent fasting improves the insulin response of the body, which in turn improves the lipid profile, the ratio of LDL, HDL, and triglycerides. As the age advances, the nervous system becomes highly susceptible to neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. When in fasting, the body produces a protein called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which not only strengthens neural connections and increases the production of new neurons, but can also have an antidepressive effect. Fasting has another advantage over caloric restriction. Decreasing caloric intake may lead to more difficulty in losing weight and promote the loss of more lean muscle mass. People following constant calorie reduction are generally in a constant state of hunger. Unlike during fasting, you are only hungry for the first few days during peak periods, usually the times when you normally have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, before the sensation completely disappears and your energy levels stabilize. 
On the contrary, when you restrict calories, your insulin levels drop drastically and your metabolism slows down, leaving you feeling tired and hungry. Intermittent fasting may be followed in different patterns as per one's comfort. Alternate day fasting. On alternating days, you can fast, and on fasting day, choose to eat as per normal schedule and meal timings, but select from healthy category of food. Modified fasting, also referred to as 5 to 2 intermittent fasting, comprises of consuming food normally for 5 days a week with food restricted to about 25% of the calorie needs on any two non-consecutive days. Another pattern comprises of following time-restricted fasting. This consists of limiting food within specific time windows, for instance, 8 p.m. to 10 a.m. In this type of fasting, you go 12 to 16 hours restricting food. However, stay away from the proclamations that say that if you fast for two days a week, you can devour as much junk as you can gulp down in the non-fasting five days of the week. The science behind intermittent fasting does not promote mindless eating or binging on low nutrition, high fat, high calorie foods like hamburgers, french fries, and cake. Intermittent fasting is not just about what to eat, but it is more about when to eat. Possible side effects of intermittent fasting include constipation, headaches, dizziness, heartburn, and muscle cramps. Many of these are due to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances that can occur with lowered intake of salt and water. Make sure to stay adequately hydrated and add some pink Himalayan sea salt to your water or consume bone broth. Epsom salt baths are a good source of magnesium, which will help with muscle cramping. Breaking the fast with a large meal can result in heartburn, so keep the first meal light and stay upright afterwards to allow time for food to digest. People suffering from eating disorder or displaying signs of disordered eating, such as binge eating, food obsession, misuse of laxatives, and extreme food restriction should refrain from practicing intermittent fasting. Pregnant females or lactating mothers should not follow intermittent fasting. People with diabetes, cancer, or with compromised immune system can follow intermittent fasting only under the supervision of their physician. Like with all science, intermittent fasting shall work forever for you if you are able to maintain and sustain the maintenance phase. Intermittent fasting is a science and not magic. Successful weight loss is not a difficult goal with intermittent fasting if you are vigilant about what you eat, how much you eat, and how you're supporting that process. That is with a group or a friend or a healthcare professional who acts as a constant reminder and checks on your food habits till you can manage confidently on your own.